number one, tanzanites are a zoisite mineral family. They come in blue and violet or purple. Believe it or not, the darker they are, the more expensive they are. I actually shouldn't say darker, I should say deeper because some tanzanites are this light lavender color which I talked about in my videos that I absolutely love and they're actually on the cheaper side. Most tanzanites that have this deep, rich purple color, which I'm hoping to show you right here, are the more expensive ones. Ironically enough, in the last two years, we've had requests for the lavender tanzanites, which are the cheaper ones. But because we've had so many requests, some of the suppliers actually made the prices higher for the cheaper tanzanites, ironically. <laughs> You know what? If you are purchasing a tanzanite, you have to know that it's one of the most rarest gemstones and it's a lot more rare than a diamond. And I'm sure you've heard that before, but it is true. The supply of the tanzanites is actually scarce. So if you are wanting to have a rare gemstones passed down your generations in your family, do make a cocktail earrings or a cocktail ring or a cocktail pendant with a tanzanite because it's just so amazing to have the stone in your family because there are not a lot of them left and they're actually very very scarce tanzanites come from africa tanzania to be exact that is one of the reasons they are so rare is because they come from only one place on earth and you know unlike diamonds which they come all over the world the Tanzanites are at some point will not be there. So make sure you buy something with a Tanzanite, even if it's something super tiny, because it's just so important to have that stone and to enjoy it and have it passed on in your family. Ironically, I look like a Tanzanite myself today, which is, you know, totally not made up. <laughs> I did not dress up for a Tanzanite video, but I do happen to have a lot of blues and purples in my wardrobe. So, and on top of that, I know for some of you it'll be shocking, but I own a Tanzanite ring, which I wear a lot. And I've, I'm sure you've seen a lot of videos. It is with me right now as well. There it is. I love my Tanzanite ring and I just, I don't wear it every day, but I do wear it quite often. I enjoy the color. I enjoy that I can get a bigger stone when it comes to Tanzanite. So Tanzanites are absolutely phenomenal, but there are tricks to buying them not to mention you need the information in order to make the right choice as always. So let's go through the list really, really quickly and figure out how to buy Tanzanite, what to look for, and on top of that, what trick to use when buying one. Tanzanites are graded like the four C's in the diamonds. So when it comes to clarity, most Tanzanites are eye clean. So you really have nothing to worry about. There's an odd amount of Tanzanites that are not so clean but most of them are. So I wouldn't worry about clarity that much. Color, that's what you need in tanzanites. Tanzanites depend on color in prices very much. And like I said earlier, if the tanzanite is light color, it will be a lot cheaper than tanzanite in a deeper, rich color. And I will show you examples at the end of the video of all the different tanzanite rings that we have and of all the different colors so that you can Make the right decision and take a look at the cheaper ones and the more expensive ones. Let's go to cut. Cut is important in tanzanites and the reason it's important is because if the stone is cut too shallow, you will see through the tanzanite and not a lot of people enjoy that. So if the stone is cut too shallow, when you take a tanzanite and put it against a newspaper, you'll be able to read everything on the newspaper through the stone. But if the stone is properly cut, you won't. You'll see some depth, depth, some brilliance, and some, you know, mingling going on in tanzanite. Tanzanites are tricky stones where a lot of people find that when you look in them, you can't stop looking as if you are just being, I don't want to say zombie, but you know one of those things in psychologist's office that you're just like getting programmed. <laughs> That's what a lot of people say tanzanites do. They have been found to be the kind of stone that you can't stop looking inside because of the way they are inside. They have this array of play of colors that is very, 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 very charming. And so with tanzanites, the cut is very important because if it's too shallow, you'll see nothing. No array, no sparkle, no depth of color. 
I'm just gonna see through. So make sure when you're shopping for Tanzanite, if you're doing it online, ask for a photo against a newspaper. That's a trick. Or if you're doing it on purpose, just get a newspaper and look at the Tanzanite against newspaper and hopefully you won't be able to read anything. The carat weight is interesting because Tanzanites are heavier. So one carat diamond ring is going to be around, I would say, maybe one and a half to 140 in the Tanzanite. So for example, if the diameter of the one carat ring is 6.5, for one carat Tanzanite, it's only six millimeters. So they are heavier stones. So you can look at the Tanzanite and think it's one carat, but it'll actually be bigger than one carat. With carat weight, honestly, with Tanzanite, most people go big or go home. Why? I'll tell you why. Because you can afford more. For example, a one carat in diamond being an average to a good quality diamond, it's about, let's say, 7,000. In the same one carat of Tanzanite, you can afford around $1,000 Tanzanite and still have a decent price, still have a decent size, and still have a decent color. So, one carat diamond, 7,000, one carat Tanzanite, 1,000. That's a big win-win, and that's the reason a lot of people, when they buy Tanzanites, they go for bigger. We've sold a ring last week with a Tanzanite that was around three and a half carats, and the whole ring in gold was around $3,000. So you could afford that, and it was a gorgeous, beautiful ring, and I'll show you later. So let's go further on. You wanna check the Tanzanite under all lights possible. So if you're buying it online, ask for a photo candlelight, ask for a photo in daylight, ask for different types of photos in different lights, because guess what? The person you're buying it for, or if you're buying it for yourself, has to make sure the tanzanite looks equally pleasant to them in all lights because tanzanites unlike a lot of different gemstones will have a slight difference under different lights i don't know what it is about tanzanites but i feel like in the daylight you see more of a purple whereas in candlelight you see a little bit more of a blue so you really want to make sure the stone it sits well with you you love it in all different lights so make sure to check the tanzanite under all possible lights that's very very important now, one of the biggest questions we get asked all the time is Tanzanite a good choice for engagement ring? Is it a practical choice for engagement ring? This is a big question that takes me a while to explain. I already have a video about whether the Tanzanite is a practical choice, which is an older video. I will put a link up here just in case you want to watch it, but I'm going to go through it very quickly. Tanzanite is not a good choice for engagement ring generally speaking because if you're a girl or if you are going to wear tanzanite all the time meaning every day you know scratches on your tanzanite is inevitable you just can't do anything you are going to hit surfaces you're going to wash your hands too often you know wash that piece of glass or vase or dish or anything and scratches are gonna come out maybe in around three to four years but they will even if you're really really careful if you wear it every day you will have scratches on the surface so it is polishable you could bring a tanzanite to get polished in three four years and you should be able to be fine most cases but if you don't want that to happen you have to make sure that you don't wear your engagement ring every day. And I do have an array of clients who love their engagement rings with a Tanzanite and they don't wear it every day. A lot of them are nurses, uh, doctors, people that work in fitnesses that they just physically won't have a ring on when they're at work. For them, their engagement ring is more of a, you know, on the weekend type of ring or after work they'll put it on and just wear it but it's not an everyday thing if you're the type of person that will wear the tanzanite ring sometimes not every day not doing all your daily activities then that is fine you could own an engagement ring with a tanzanite 
But because tendons are not hard, they are prone to being scratched a lot more than, say, sapphire or diamond. So it doesn't make them an ideal choice for engagement ring, but we have seen we have seen it being done. I have a few clients who are wearing their rings and it's been already over 10 years and they're totally fine and their stones are fine too, but they don't wear it every day. However, most of our clients get tanzanite rings for cocktail jewelry, a pair of earrings, that pendant, or a cocktail ring. It is one of the most amazing stones for a cocktail ring because you can afford a bigger size stone. You can go for five, seven, even 10 karat tanzanite and still be okay in terms of the price. So it's a great stone if you're building a cocktail ring. And if you're building a cocktail ring, one of the other tricks I wanna say is that the bigger you can get the stone, the more negotiation room you have. So do remember that when you're giving an original price, make sure you ask whoever you're buying it from, is there room for negotiation? You know, could we maybe make some kind of discount since I'm buying a larger stone? So. Engagement ring lovers, I am making another video with popular engagement ring for Tanzanites, but that will come in a few weeks. So subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss that one out. If you are shopping for a Tanzanite in store, and I know we all have one of these, get your flash out, pinpoint it to the stone, and try to look inside the stone. The flash on the camera is very very strong so you'll be able to see anything that's going on inside the stone very easily why this is a trick because if you have any fractures or blemishes or anything inside you'll be able to see it with just the flush most tanzanites as i said are clean but if you get a really really deep color stone you can't easily see just under daylight that there is something going on in it, this becomes really, really handy. So if you do have a phone with you, just use your phone and that trick is gonna do it for you and you'll be able to see how clean is the stone. One of the reasons we also do it is because once you wear that ring, you look at it every day and you're just always eyeing it. And when you're always eyeing it, your eyes see more than when the first time you see it. It's a fact, our eyes, see more when we're looking at the object longer and longer and longer. So a lot of my clients are like, Rita, I didn't see anything in that stone, it was eye clean. And then they come back and have fear and they're like, yeah, I saw that little thing that was, you know, on five o'clock to the left with like, within a year. Because once you're driving and you're always looking at your ring, you start seeing beyond the sparkle and inside the ring. So make sure you do this trick just to make sure that there's nothing inside that's gonna be like, uh, I don't quite like it. Because I have seen some beautiful, gorgeous purple stones, but when you put that flashlight, you have a whole bunch of array of, you know, fracture going on in there and just blemishes, even some rainbow things. It's totally normal because it's a natural stone, but not everybody likes it. And some clients are like, I can't live with a stone that has all this inside. It bothers me. While others are like, that's cool. That's super unique. So we're all different, but that's something just to do, just to have that one more last thing for you to say, okay, I'm gonna do this trick. And I love this stone. I love it even more. Or to say, okay, something to think about. I'm not sure if I'm ready to buy this stone. Okay guys, it's Margarita Skype and I hope you loved this video. Make sure you subscribe as I said and let's go on to these beautiful Tanzanite rings I'm about to show you. Okay, look at these three rings you guys. A solitaire engagement Tanzanite ring. Do you see how blue that is? Almost like a sapphire, but it's a Tanzanite. It's a Tanzanite. Look at this one, this rich violet color. Stunning, this is a cocktail ring. Could be as engaged, but mostly used as cocktail ring. And the lavender one that we get asked for so, so, so often. Look at this. How stunning is this? It is shallow cut, so you can see through it, you see it? But a lot of people enjoy how light the color is. So this has been one of our popular rings.
tanzanite is a December stone. A beautiful December stone. So if your girl is December, if you're proposing in December, consider tanzanite. It is also known to be a gemstone of a happy person. It's got a happy personality and a happy energy. And people say that when they wear it, they feel like they become more social. I don't know if it's true or not. That's what they say. It's Margarita Skype, and I hope you enjoyed this video about Tanzanites and what to look for. I look forward to doing these videos for you every single week. We post twice a week. I'll see you in the next video.